Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe if you like what I got going on here on this channel. And to all my new subscribers, thank you so much. I see you coming through and I'm very excited that you're joining me. I'm like inching closer to these flowers that I cut this morning. They're so pretty. It's like the first batch that has come up. I'm going to try to propagate a new plant with some rooting hormone. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about our favorite, a Dollar Tree DIY. Now my last Dollar Tree DIY was something useful and for organizational purposes. This is not useful, it's just pretty. I saw this idea, I believe, on Pinterest. I don't remember exactly what they used. I'm putting my own spin on it. And we are here to make some Dollar Tree decor. So let's get into it and make sure that if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you're new here and you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. You guys look out for my giveaway. I just posted it a couple days ago. I will link it up above in one of the I cards. Okay, so first we're gonna need two smaller frames and one bigger one. I chose five by seven and this three and a half by five. I didn't want to do like an eight by 10 or anything that's too large. Then you need to choose your base. I got this square cutting board. Some other options would be the circle cutting board or if you can find the mirror, circle mirror, I have the mirror out right now but you get the drift. You're gonna need three candles and you're gonna need some candle lids. Now this candle I'm pretty sure is from the Dollar Tree. You could get three of these and use the lid but I have all different sizes laying around. This was the best I could do. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna first spray paint six little knockoff Jenga pieces because I might need them to help keep everything stable. And also I spray painted some of these wooden beads from the Dollar Tree. There's a bunch of different crafts I wanna do with these. I actually did not pick them up from the Dollar Tree. I messed up, I walked by them and now they're gone. So I ordered them off Amazon and I got three different sizes. I'll link them below. I am a part of the Am Amazon Associates program. True, that was hard to get out. The Amazon Associates program. So if you purchase anything or these beads from my link, I get a small percentage of the sale. It's really like pennies on the dollar, but eventually it could help support my channel and help me keep making videos. So I spray painted these gold already. This cutting board has little feet, but we're gonna add prettier, bigger, larger feet. This is the best spray paint ever for silver and gold, the Rust-Oleum Specialty Metallic. So I sprayed my little Jenga pieces, they're drying. I disassembled my frames here. Be careful with this glass, you guys, it's so flimsy. Dispose of it properly or store it properly if you're gonna keep it. And everything was going great until, <gasps> no, I feel like I have to spray paint this now because I just can't have that. Before we spray paint though, we're going to get rid of these little nubs that hold the frame together. You can either bend it back and forth, back and forth like this, or if you have some little wire nippers, see, comes right off. The bend back and forth method got it off nice and clean and it really didn't take that long. It was almost satisfying to get them off. Back outside to spray paint. Okay guys, the spray paint is dry and I have just sat the frames where I want them. Just getting an idea of how this is going to go. So now we're going to get the feet on. I used hot glue for the feet and it stuck them on pretty good and I decided to put the glass back in one of these frames you'll see why in a second so I just put hot glue on the corners and a little bead on each side to secure the glass now to glue it down I'm using fix all from the Dollar Tree I will say this stuff works very well but it does take a good 24 hours to dry Thank you. 
So here's this idea I had to put that on the candle holder, but I just didn't like how it came out. And that idea is done, but I left the glass in and I really like how it looked. You can see when I use the fix all that I leave a little blank spot to fill in the hot glue. Of course, I do the hot glue last because it dries the quickest. And I messed up here, I put the glue on to the very edges and obviously there's no base at the edge so I just wasn't thinking anyway we're already getting this third one tacked down and it's looking good I don't know what I'm doing here. I wanted to incorporate something else so bad. And actually this looks kind of cute, but I don't know. I just left it simple. My vision is coming together and I've made a huge mess at the house. So I'm just gluing the lids on the exact same way that I glued the frames down with the fix-all and the hot glue. You can see it's coming together. All right, I should have let this dry a little more, but hey, it's looking good with the candles lit. It's really pretty cool. And um, the first frame is leaning a little bit. That's because the glue's not dry. I put a brush in it and propped it up a bit and it ended up drying straight as a pin. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping by. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so keep a lookout for my videos. Thanks, you guys. I will see you on the next one.